A half-naked rubber snake thrower, pork and tuna thieves who had a change of heart, and hey, do you think this will help me run faster? Hey, I'm Greg Ott, and we're rounding up some of this week's weirdest true crime stories here on your daily news refresh. Before we take your fingerprints, give us a like and a hot subscribe to tell the algorithm you want more strange and interesting news stories in your feed. Thanks. So the other day, a Florida man naked from the waist down crashed a car into a jail and started throwing rubber snakes around. Let me show you what I mean by that. Here's the security footage of the car crashing into the jail. Here's a picture of the snakes. Here's some more of the aftermath. And here's the suspect. This all went down in the Martin County, Florida Sheriff's Office on Monday night when this 40-year-old man wearing a quote, ladies blouse and no pants, drove from the jail parking lot up the walkway and through the glass lobby doors. Of course, our cameras and our correctional officers inside saw the vehicle enter the lobby. They came out and were confronted by the suspect. From there, cops say the suspect began throwing rubber snakes and cell phones and poured out motor oil, there's a bottle of it, all over the floor and his car. Before he started spewing some dangerous rhetoric about another Florida man, recently found guilty on 34 counts of business fraud in New York, who may one day find himself in jail. He just talked about his hatred for former President Donald Trump. He also kept emphasizing that the devil told me to kill as many people as possible. On this PD's Facebook page, Mark McGinnis called this guy a great value version of the Joker. Todd Tucker described this as the old snakes and oil attack, a timeless classic. And Jessica Walensky exhibited a bit more empathy, saying, wow, this guy deaf has issues. Hope he's able to get the help he needs. The sheriff's department described the suspect as a homeless man who ended up being restrained, taken to a hospital where he remained uncooperative, and eventually booked in the jail he crashed into. One local news report says the suspect had to be sedated and he appears to have built up a tolerance to different types of drugs. While it's not exactly clear right now what caused this guy to crash a Camry into a jail, toss toy snakes, and pour motor oil everywhere, perhaps it's worth mentioning that the National Institute of Mental Health estimates that more than one in five adults in the U.S. live with some sort of mental illness. And one recent report from a health advocacy group found that access to behavioral health care across the U.S. is not uniform. Many individuals face challenges in obtaining timely, appropriate, and affordable services and treatment, and they note that only one third of individuals diagnosed with a behavioral health condition got treatment from a specialist within the year in 2021. Our Florida man here faces multiple charges, including four counts of aggravated assault. And the sheriff's office says they plan to install extra protection at the jail in the future. Fortunately, the PD claims nobody was injured in any of this. And the only harm that appears to be posed by rubber snakes like these on Amazon is that children under three can choke on them and they exhibit a slight rubber smell when the first time used. Immediately my stomach dropped. Like, oh no, I really thought it was going to be completely empty. Thank God they came with their bikes. Because if they came with their car, that whole freezer would have been emptied. That's the owner of Paradise Grinds and Catering LLC, a small restaurant on the island of Kauai, Hawaii. And yeah, in this video from May 30th, two guys can be seen inside the restaurant stealing food out of the freezer. They took two pork butt packs and they took a whole case of ahi cubes. Ahi cubes and pork butt are quite the late night snack, but the owner of this joint isn't just bothered by the fact that these guys were meaty fishy mooches. The food wasn't cheap for one thing, and it was also intended to be put to use for a good cause beyond simple nourishment. You see, for years, this restaurant's Paradise Grind Scholarship Program has handed out scholarships to local high school students. And these pork butt packs and this case of ahi cubes were intended to be used for that scholarship dinner. So yeah, these guys didn't just steal some average pig and fish, they stole some scholarly pig and fish. The restaurant posted the surveillance video online, and in the Instagram comments, Gail Creations believes there seems to be no boundaries for these thieves. I hope they get caught and prosecuted. Deskelmit called the guys scrubs, and April Nakato used the swearing emoji. F shit, ass. It's not really clear which one, but it is clear that Fishboy and Pigman here appear to have felt a little bit of remorse after this video went live. You see, not only did a food service company replace these stolen items for the restaurant, the suspected thieves actually ended up coming back to the business they robbed to return the food. They had like more of a scared look on their face, I'm not sure, but they apologized and like, we're sorry. So even we were in shock, we're like, okay, why did you steal? Why did you break in? They're like, we're hungry. And I said, okay, why don't you just ask? All you're gonna do is just get yourself more into trouble. And they said, oh, we're just hungry. The owner of the place described the duo as possibly homeless. And even though they attempted to return the tuna and pork butt, she noted on Instagram that she can't use it and told them to keep it. But then when I kind of like just really looked at them, I kind of felt sad. You know, I don't know, it's just sad to see people get that far 
gone, you know, and do this kind of stuff to the community and, you know, it's, it's just sad. Cops claim they'll be taking matters into their own hands from here, which makes sense when you consider that they're experts in all things pork. Like when this cop tackled a loose pig in Utah, which we told you about here on your news refresh back in April. Please subscribe. Oink, oink. Finally, when you hear the phrase, just do it, do they mean cocaine? Maybe they do out in the Florida Keys, where on Wednesday, scuba divers found these things floating about 100 feet underwater off the Atlantic coast. 25 individually wrapped bricks of cocaine sporting the Nike SB logo. No, Nike hasn't actually rolled out their own take on a performance enhancing drug, and the divers first thought this packaging was just trash in the water, which itself is having a bit of a red letter day recently. Given that magnet fisher in Queens who just found a discarded safe with 100 grand inside of it. Instead, these things appear to be swooshes of square groupers, the slang terms for drugs thrown off a boat like this. Experts say maritime drug smuggling off the coast of Florida has been a long time problem since at least the days of Miami Vice. And according to the acting chief patrol agent of the U.S. Border Patrol Miami sector, this 66 pound package of coke seized by agents is valued at a million bucks. That comes out to about 15 grand a pound, which is a lot, though not as much as those Back to the Future Nike mags going for 23 grand on StockX.